downtown Vancouver, British Columbia. At a first glance, this might seem like any other North American city, but there's a few special things about it. Located on the Pacific Ocean, it's a port city. However, these waters aren't only visited by boats. Each winter, thousands of waterbirds flock to the city waters. My favorite are the surf scoters. Every winter, these surf scoters arrive to the Vancouver area from their breeding grounds in the Canadian North. Many of them will fly thousands of kilometers every year in order to reach their destination. What attracts the scoters? The answer lies beneath the surface. The seafloor around Vancouver's Stanley Park is covered in blue mussels, a prime food source for these birds. Flocks that can number in the thousands will gather, feasting on the food below. And once they've eaten most of the mussels in a given area, they'll move to a new location nearby and repeat the same process. The scoter's daily routine often brings them up close into the Stanley Park seawall and the Vancouver waterfront, and this provides some of the best surf scoter viewing opportunities in the entire world. As I was filming these birds, people were so eager to know more about this phenomenon. I stopped to talk to people about their thoughts and feelings on the spectacle. It's pretty incredible. It's pretty amazing that they will find the same, their way back here every year. In fall, actually start I think in October, they start coming to Vancouver. Yeah, I love that. You know, people love them and uh, it's like our guests. It's a kind of, yeah, it's a great feeling, yeah, it's very beautiful. Isn't this amazing? You know, I love coming down to Stanley Park. Every time I come, there's something new to look at. And we have to constantly strive to be better at maintaining these backyard refuges for birds. To me, nature is the most important thing to all of us. If there was one thing that I learned while filming, it was the fascinating link between people and our urban nature. Oh, I'm so happy because the morning exercise I'm passing here. There's a lot of birds. For me, very interesting and so exciting. Just one year ago, I also take photo from my phone. Yeah, also amazing. I show my friends, they say, oh my God, so, so exciting. They love it. Yeah, this is nature. These surf scoters provided an opportunity for people to appreciate the beauty of nature that most urbanites just don't get to see. Of course, living in the city might pose challenges for these birds. The Stanley Park Ecology Society has been running annual seawall surveys to monitor the populations of wintering waterbirds, including the surf scoters. This is a snapshot of the winter birds that are using the habitat here in Stanley Park. And it's important to do it all at once so that we know we're getting every bird. Uh, last year we had over 1,200 birds of over 30 species of water bird. <laughs> Uh, so there's a lot of winter birds that use the habitat here. Barrow's golden eyes like these are typically the second most numerous species recorded on the count, following the surf scoters. This year's count was on a cold, rainy winter day. However, that did not stop volunteers from heading out to count birds. Elsa Mickelson, a fourth-year UBC science student and PhD candidate, was leading this year's survey. Uh, so this is a survey that we do every year to track the populations of uh, winter water birds using Stanley Park's habitat. And we usually get thousands of birds like surf scoters and Barrow's goldeneye, and uh, we're able to track the trends over time. I think it's especially important for everyone who lives in the city to have that chance to connect with nature. Um, so it's pretty amazing to be able to live in downtown Vancouver and then just take a day trip out to your backyard and see hundreds of these wild animals so close. Uh, so in order to protect them, we need to know how they're doing, um, both on their winter habitat and their summer habitat. 
Uh, so this is taking a look at the winter populations. Uh, so um, in order to help them, we have to know whether or not they need help first. Robin Worcester's 10-year trend reports about the abundance of wintering water birds along the Stanley Park shoreline found that while some fish-eating water birds are in decline, surf scoters seem to be doing well. However, while filming, I couldn't help but notice the impact that freighters heading in and out of the port was having on surf scoters feeding in the inlet. I wonder how much of an impact these freighters have now or will in the future on the well-being of these amazing travelers. It's very important that we watch these surf scoters closely because as birds living off of the ocean, they are indicators of the health of our entire natural world. They are also so important because they are giving so many people the opportunity to connect with nature right outside their city homes. Whenever a flock of scoters forms, people stop to admire the birds. They bring people together because the marvel of nature is a universal language. What I've learned by making this film is that whether you are a scientist with a deep understanding of scoter biology or just an everyday individual taking a walk along the Stanley Park seawall, surf scoters create a true appreciation for nature and provide such reward and so much insight into the natural world.